What's up everyone? Welcome to Sir Hunts Reviews. My name's Mark and man, I haven't done one of these intros in a while, so I'm pretty gassed up, if you can't tell. So, there's been a crap ton of Game of Thrones slash Song of Ice and Fire news hitting the uh, web circulation, and I decided to make a quick pop-up video to kind of keep you guys informed on the information, which I'm sure you're well aware of, but, you know, we'll just talk about my opinions on the matter. <laughs> Before we get started, I'm in fact having a massive, well, okay, you know, I got used to saying massive giveaway, but that's not the case. I'm having a weekly giveaway here on Sir Hunts where you can actually win a $20 Amazon gift card, and all you have to do is click the link down below in the description, and that'll take you for bonus ways to enter. The main way to enter is by slapping a like on this video, leaving a comment down below, and then make sure you have your notifications turned on so that way you get alerted as soon as I drop a Game of Thrones video throughout this long night. Okay, so the first set of news that I actually want to discuss comes to us as a bit of like, a, almost a little bit of a mystery. There was a platform that is used to uh, sell books called Strand Bookstore. And long story short, they basically released this excerpt, or this article rather, it was a list of books to look forward to in 2018. Lo and behold, at the very bottom of said article, there was a mention of the Winds of Winter, and then it said next to that, September 6th, 2018 so for a brief like maybe 30 minutes everyone's head was exploding because this was like what you know we actually if you guys remember i did a video you can click the link right up here and then i'll take it to that video but it was a few months ago and i basically mentioned how winds of winter release date had released on wiki page which is kind of like anyone can edit a wiki page so it wasn't exactly reputable but this strand bookstore is is a bit more reputable because they they've no they've you know, they're known in the game of selling books. They're one of the top sellers of books. So their information is way more credible than a wiki page. But anyway, they have since changed the uh, September 6, 2018 release date to fingers crossed. So that kind of, you know, like blew a hole right through that. And not to mention, if Game of Thrones can't even keep, you know, season 7 episodes under lock and key and you have people from the inside leaking it to the outside, something as simple as an, uh, an algorithm that runs a website that keeps, like, you know, release dates for books and stuff under lock and key, it's a lot more simple. I doubt they would have a leak like that. And not to mention, they, I'm pretty sure they have several different ways of handling a situation like this. Like, if this Strand Bookstore place had actually released the, the release date for Winds of Winter, I'm pretty sure Penguin Publishing or Harper's Publishing would have some sort of legal recourse for this, and there would be some sort of altera some sort of different alteration to that article other than just fingers crossed. It would be like, just completely taken out. There's no way they don't have some sort of ironclad, almost as much iron as the Iron Throne itself, NDA agreement where they sign that when, you know, they... We're given the information that, hey, look, Winds of Winter is going to be released. We all know how insane our fan base can be. Like, we were all lit up. Like, we honestly, you, you ever, you, I don't know if you guys watch Dragon Ball Z, but whenever they go Super Saiyan, whether it's Super Saiyan 2, 3, 4, 5, God Super Saiyan, it's an insane amount of yelling. And that's what we were all doing because we know that Game of Thrones 2000, Game of Thrones 2000, yeah, I just automatically jumped to 2019, but Game of Thrones Season 8 is not going to be coming out until... 2019 hopefully it's in the first quarter which is like the first four months of the year but we don't know so when you hear an information like oh seven months away game of thrones is going to be releasing or sorry george is going to be releasing winds of winter we were like okay there are a few different links floating around to the article or basically like talking about what strand bookstore had done and the one that i found was for express.co.uk and i actually linked that down below in the description you can go click on that so you can read this article for yourself but basically the article reads as follows a bookshop has drawn the attention of fans across various social networks after listing the latest entry in the song of ice and fire series on its list of books to look forward to in 2018 interestingly the strand bookstore allegedly allegedly published the date as September 6, 2018. This has since been removed, and in its place, it says fingers crossed, as in fingers crossed, they hope the book is released in 2018. You guys let me know what you think about this down below. Do you think it's a hoax? Do you think they were just trying to basically cause a stir so that they can get a little bit of promotion? Because they know that, you know, the Game of Thrones community, like I said, is insanely buzzing with excitement over this. That They get promotion for their website. That could be a possibility, but it could have also been just, you know, someone who was writing the article or you know who made that list they basically were a, a song of ice and fire fan and they knew that it would cause everyone's heads to roll so you guys let me know what you think about that down in the comment section i my personal opinion is 100 percent uh not legit and i said the same thing about that Wik wikipedia page leak it's just 
if something like this were going to leak, I feel like George or HBO would would address it because if you remember, uh, you know, as soon as the season eight leaks came out, HBO came out and said, "Hey, look, those leaks are fake." There's even a few that have been released online that, you know, and some of the things from out of the four season eight leaks that they've had, some of those events are definitely going to go down in season eight. That's just a natural progression of the series. But George or his his publisher, no one has come out and said, hey, look, when's the winner's going to be coming out this year or it's not coming out this year. So I honestly think if it's something that silly that they're not even going to address, it's not even hasn't even made big enough headlines in their book that they need to address it, it's complete bogus nonsense. But like I said, that's just 100% my opinion, and you guys let me know how you feel about it, like Philly D says, down below in the comments section. And now on to the filming news. Uh, for those of you who don't want to know anything about Game of Thrones Season 8, go ahead and click out of the video right meow, because this is going to get into some spoilery territory. Alright, so... In my Jamie Theory video from yesterday, I actually mentioned at the very end of that video that some of the filming news that just popped up was the fact that there were going to be some minor characters filming at Wintertown. Now, you can go and watch that video and listen to my predictions on that, but to summarize, I basically think that those two minor characters are going to be Alice Carr Stark and maybe Small John Umber. Perhaps they're out there training, maybe they're going to, like... You know, maybe Winterfell is a little bit too crowded, so there's a group of people taking supplies to Wintertown, and, you know, maybe they're some of the unlucky individuals who have to stay out there. Now, I'm not saying that, that it's just, you know, you can theorize on anything like that, but my speculation is that those two minor characters are either Alice Carr Stark and Small John Number Son, or two characters who we've yet to be seen yet, and they were cast, you know, just for season eight, and they could be showing us how harsh it's getting in Wintertown. Just something, you know, letting us know that, hey, this is the final season of Game of Thrones. Lives are on the line. Okay, so I'm just going to skim through the article real quick, and this is courtesy of Watchers on the Wall, which is linked down below in the description. You can go check out that link, and you can read the full article for yourself. But basically, the article goes on to state that Kit Harrington was seen in Belfast a few days ago, and according to Los Siete Rinos, Peter Dinklage is there as well. The cast and crew may have just gone back to work, but we already have our first exclusive spoilers from the set, and they're referring to, you know, their inside information. We saw the Crypt of Winterfell and the Spoils of War when Sansa and Arya reunited in front of their father's new statue. Now it's said that they're going to be back at that filming location, which is Shane's Castle in Northern Ireland. So apparently, we're going to be getting a Winterfell Crypt scene. Um, it doesn't exactly state, you know, where when that's going to be happening in the in the season, but I think it's going to be one of the earlier ones because the article does mention that Miguel Sapochnik is uh, going to be working on the third and fifth episodes, and one of the people that works for him, sorry, I'm having to kind of skim through the article as I'm doing this, but one of the people that works for him actually released a photo showing uh, Shane's castle, which is the place where they film the, the Crypts of Winterfell. And honestly, if you can see in this picture right here, it's amazing because it looks like he kind of used that same filter they use for all of the north so this place naturally looks as lo looks like that i think it's interesting you know we have a little bit of insight into game of thrones editing processes they want it to continue looking like that so maybe they have to you know adjust their camera filters for other scenes that are filmed in the north because of this location so the article goes on to state that there are actually two main characters oh uh, wait no two main characters that are going to be filming in the Crypts of Winterfell. Now, we do know that, you know, like the article had stated, we, the last time we kind of saw that was Sansa and Arya had went down there to look at the new statue of Ned. Now, the only person we haven't seen go down there yet is Bran. And Bran has been down there previously in the series, but not since he's returned to Winterfell. So if Bran does go down in the Crypts of Winterfell, that is almost the perfect place to talk to Jon and tell him the truth. So I think the two main characters that are filming there are Kit Harington and Bran. So what? Isaac Hempstead Wright doesn't get his name said too? Only only, only, only Kit Harington? Okay, so yeah, Jon Snow and Bran I think are going to be filming there. This is going to be the perfect place for Bran to tell Jon Snow the truth of his lineage. I honestly think that Jon Snow will naturally go down there. We saw him do it when he didn't really know what to do, what was the next step that he should be taking. He kind of goes down there and he somewhat connects with Ned again and, and I think that makes him feel closer to his father and this could give him help give him direction in the way that he needs to go. Bran could perhaps have Maester Wolken wheel him down there and then he'll start telling Jon Snow the truth. I think it would be the perfect place to tell Jon Snow the truth because we do know that there's a statue of Lyanna down there and then also you have the perfectness that Littlefinger kind of hinted at that fact, you know, last season. I feel like Bran 
is going to continue to do the I know what you did last summer, but since he knows that Jon Snow just hooked up with his aunt and that he's in love with and he knows that news is going to be a little bit, you know, gut-wrenching to Jon, he may sort of lay it on him easy. You know, he may, like, start mentioning, like, what happened at the tourney at Hall. Maybe he'll start mentioning that to Jon Snow down there, and then he just kind of, you know, lays it on him gently. But, I don't know. You guys let me know what you think about that down below in the comment section. Oh, Crick, before I forget, when you take into the fact that we have, you know, both of these scenes that are taking place in Winterfell and they're kind of just now kicking off the official filming season, I definitely think that the very first shot, of course, will be at Winterfell, but the entire episode, the first half of it, or the episode in its entirety, will take place in all of Winterfell. I think the best way to get us focused and to catch us all up, you know, the average show watcher and everyone else, the best way to do that is by having us focus entirely on one situation. So we're going to have Jon Snow the North, the Dead, the Threat of the White Walkers, the Night King, all of that dealt with in the first episode, and then the second episode maybe following up with Cersei. Another thing I want to point out, since we do know that there are two main characters said to be taking place in this scene, I think that one of those people may in fact be Tyrion Lannister since he just showed up. Now, Jon Snow, of course, is likely going to be in that scene where, you know, they're going into the Winterfell Crips, and the other person could definitely be Bran, but when you take into consideration that Peter Dinklage just showed up, it's totally possible that Tyrion goes down to the Crips with him. So what if Jon and Tyrion have a one-on-one -on -one conversation down there, and then that's when Bran shows up and explains to them, hey, you know, this is the situation with your lineage. But another thing to think about, too, is like Bran... Or I guess there would be three characters that are mentioned there, but you never know. You guys let me know what you think about this down below in the comment section. You know, another thing to consider about what I was mentioning earlier is you do have Sansa and Arya first reuniting there back in Season 7. Remember, Arya had to slip past those guards and then Sansa knows automatically that Arya went to the Crypts of Winterfell. So if that's a place that their family holds dear, which we know it does, Ned's bones are down there. Just imagine when Jon first arrives at Winterfell with Daenerys, dragons, and all of these Dothraki savages and basically here to say hey look these guys are going to be joining our team oh yeah by the way i've been sleeping with this woman over here imagine how intense or stressful that's going to be for john so when that happens i think it would be the perfect time for him to slip away to kind of go and gather his headspace down in the crypts of winterfell and then we have uh history repeating itself but this time it's brain and john who reunite down there instead of Arya and sansa I want to thank you all so so much for watching let me know if you enjoy how much i talk with my hands in these videos also i'm having a contest for a 20 dollars amazon gift card and if you want to enter that contest check the gleam.io link down below in the description leave a like on this video leave a comment down below and then make sure you're subscribed i want to give a super special thank you to every single one of my patreons over on patreon.com without you all these videos would not be possible and another super special shout out to mario and terry they are the executive producers of the videos and without them these videos would not be possible if anyone watching would like to share your support to sir hunt's reviews and go and check out my patreon you can check out the link down below in the description or check the link right up here. I want to thank you all again so, so much for watching. My name's Mark, and this has been Sir Hunts. Recorded all in one take reviews. Okay, I'm, I'm not gonna lie. It was, it was like three or four takes, but still.